All right guys, welcome back. This is part three of our water filter series. Part one, if you haven't seen it already, we talked about which type of water filter you could pick. We talked about the pros and cons of different systems and how you can make your choice and to be a little more informed about what kind of water filter you should choose. In part two, we talked about how to install the big blue water filter, whole house water filter on our house. We talked about how you can learn how to do some plumbing, how to sweat copper pipes and how to install this system and what you can look for and we learned a lot and we hope you did too. And if you've watched those or if you had any interest in doing so, we'll have links to them here. And now in part three, we're gonna talk about the results of what we found. We got a couple of test kits from Amazon and we actually tested the water coming out of our faucet out to the, to the garden that doesn't get filtered and we compare that to the water that comes in through our kitchen sink. And with that comparison, we can see just what the water filter is doing and how much of an improvement that we have. And so with that, let's jump right into the test. All right, so now I'm in my kitchen. I've got an unfiltered cup of water from the hose that comes out before the filter and some filtered water from my kitchen sink. And I've got the first alert test kit and we're going to test for E. coli, lead, pesticides, nitrates and nitrides, chlorine, hardness, and pH. So the very first test is the E. coli bacteria test. Now this actually is a vial full of some sort of growth medium, I'd imagine, and that will allow the E. coli, if it's present, to grow, and there is a color agent that will turn yellow if E. coli is detected. Now for us, in both unfiltered and filtered states, there was no problem with this test. We had purple water, there was no E. coli, so we had a negative result. And this test takes 48 hours. You have to check back in two days. This is the longest test by far. All right, the second test is an important one. This is the pesticide and lead test. Lead causes neurological and kidney damage and pesticides can cause an increased risk of cancer. So I'm gonna fill two bulbs full of water into a vial and we have two test strips for both. Now in this test, if you have two lines that form, then you have a problem and you should definitely call someone or take further action immediately. But in our case, for both tests, we showed up negative and we didn't have pesticides or lead in our water, which was definitely a relief. All right, and then the next test coming up is for nitrates and nitrites. And now uh, this was a simple test as well. You have a test strip with two color patches on it. You submerge it in water and then you compare it to a visual color table. And in our examples, the two tests were pretty close. So there wasn't really a clear outcome here. You can see here in the video, they were pretty close. If there was any differences, there might've been a slight improvement, but it was pretty negligible. So we didn't really feel too confident with that. Now the next test is for total hardness, pH and chlorine. Now in this test, the results were positive. The chlorine levels, if you see on the very far right, are absolutely white on the right. And the hardnesses come down and the pH is also closer to seven as well. So we have a result that is positive in all three of these tests for the filtered water, which is good news for us. All right guys, well there you have it. Those are our findings for our water filter test. So our results were a little bit bittersweet. For one, the water coming from the city to our house is really clean, and we were really happy to hear that. There was no lead, there was no nitrates, the chlorine levels were really low, um, there was no other bacteria or viruses or anything else that we should be worried about. All of our tests came back negative. But the one thing we were not really expecting was that the results from the water filter weren't that staggering. The hardness in the water did decrease by a little bit, but not by much. It went from about 500 to about 400 or 375 and the pH of the water did get closer to neutral from about 7.9 to about 7.5 or 7.6. So that was an improvement that was cool as well. And also the chlorine levels were low to begin with and they went to just absolutely zero with the filter. Part of the reason why we believe that the chlorine test was as close as it was is because the water had a chance to sit. So if you ever see a glass of water from a normal tap, you'll see the little bubbles in it and the chlorine kind of off-gassing. So the longer you leave it out and the more you swirl it around, 
the faster that that process happens. And if you leave it out long enough, the chlorine will eventually leave the water. That's why normally they recommend you leave the water out in a bucket for a while before you put it into a fish tank. And also there was, there was some impurities in the water that were floating around that we noticed in the hose water that was not present in the filtered water. And I think that was interesting because it didn't really show up in the test that much. The, the TDS levels weren't that different, but visually there was clearly a difference. So the quantitative tests were closer than we thought, but there were some improvements to be sure. But the qualitative test was probably more interesting here because we actually did a blind taste test with my wife and a couple of friends and each and every one of them preferred the taste of the filtered water. So there is something else going on. There's something else that the filter is cleaning out that we couldn't really quite capture in the testing results. And whatever that was leads to much cleaner and better tasting water. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We hope you learned something and we really encourage you guys to pick up these water tests. They're $12 on Amazon. We'll have a link below. Test your water and see how you're looking. And I think that knowledge will be powerful for you. Just that peace of mind of knowing that your water is good or is not good. And a little call to action for you guys, part of the community here. We hope that if you do pick up the filter and you do test your water, that you leave a comment below with the state or the city or the zip code and what you found. Because what we can do is we can put that information together, maybe put up on our website. And anybody else who might live in your area can benefit from the fact that you did this test. So we hope you do that. We hope we hear from you. And again, please leave us comments, like us, subscribe, and let us know what you guys think. And if there's any other testing or any other things that you want us to cover, please don't be shy. Let us know, and we will catch you guys next time.